Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to pull this off. This is the my uh, build of the Akula uh, three volt perpetual flashlight. I've changed the transistor to a BUZ11A MOSFET, uh, and I have there's the coil there. I have the larger inductance uh, on the chip side and the smaller inductance on the, uh, which is the inner winding on the uh, inverter MOSFET side. The probe test points are as in Akula's schematic. Right now I have the potentiometer turned um, so that the LEDs are off. I'm supplying the system with 3 volts from this regulated power supply down there, regulated and current limited. Okay, and there's the scope shot right now. Flat lines. Uh, let's see. So that's that's where the oof. that's where the base lines are. The top trace, uh, which is this one. The top trace is channel 1 of the scope which is the chip signal and then the bottom trace is the coil MOSFET signal okay and we're at 2 volts per division on both traces so when I turn this on you see the 3 volts of the supply voltage on there on this top trace so we're flat lined right now Okay, so now, if I can do this with one hand, I'm going to start making some adjustments. I'm going to adjust the pot. Okay. In very small increments. Now you can see that as I, as I actually turn the pot, the LEDs come on briefly. And then they fade out really hard. It's like little little twitches of the of the pot will make the LEDs come on until you start getting down into the range where they start staying on for a little bit longer. And at that time you start seeing those spikes on the top trace there and I'm continuing to turn the pot, and each time I turn the pot, you see that burst of noise on the top trace. And now we're finding, finally starting to actually get some signal in there. The LEDs are staying on, and I'm turning, continuing to turn the pot to the left. Tiny little increments. I'm turning it just like one screwdriver blade width each little notch. This is a 10 turn pot. Okay, now it's just starting. Can you see the see the LED flicker a little bit right there? It's just starting to get into the range where the transistor is starting to switch. Still turning. Okay. Still turning. It's really bright. And uh, we're drawing a lot of current now. Man, past the point. Yeah. Okay, so I past the point going up and missed oops, where are we? I missed the critical tuning so now I'm going to go back down sometimes it's easier to get to it from the top side oh it might help if I actually turned the 
the channel on. Duh. Huh. No wonder I missed it. I'm looking for a trace on that bottom channel and I have it turned off. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so now we're seeing some action. Okay, so... There's a very narrow point in there where... There, let's cast it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now we have that action happening on the top trace uh, with blocks of really high frequency oscillation and we have the nice shark uh, backed hump on the bottom trace okay and uh, LEDs are outrageously bright the current draws about 60 milliamps now I'm going to take the spring off the ferrite that holds it together Can you hear that? Okay, so it's definitely chattering, right? Now, if I separate the halves a little bit, you can see that the, uh, the frequency of that oscillation goes up. And there's some point in there I can keep that thing separated at just the right distance. Well, let's see, let's see if I can put a spacer in there. Uh. All right, I just stuck a penny in that gap just to hold the gap apart. And you can see now that the oscillation has increased in frequency. Okay, so let's change the time base on the scope. This is not super stable. Lost it. it again. Now I separate that with a penny. Now up here we have the... Ooh, damn it, lost it again. It's really hard to do with just one hand. All right, try it again. Now stay, 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 stay. This is almost doing it. Almost.
Thanks for watching.